Brush shapes are a quick way to incorporate creative elements and objects into your images. They can help create interest in specific areas on your photo, or they can be used creatively for fun artworks or family pictures. With On One Photo Raw, you can easily import and apply custom brush shapes to your photos. In this video, let's import and use custom brushes to liven up an image. So we're inside of the edit module here. Let's liven up this photo using a custom brush shape from the sample set in the On One Summer Creative Collection. First things first, let's just set the basic foundational tone of the shot. I'm going to do that in the Develop tab using my Tone and Color pane here. And I'm actually just going to let On One Photo Raw do all of the heavy lifting for me. So I'm going to use this AI Auto button here. And that's automatically going to develop these settings down here for me, so I don't have to mess with any of these sliders. To import the brushes, let's head up here to the File menu. I'm going to choose Manage Extras. In the Extras Manager, we're going to head over to the Brush Shapes tab here. And we don't actually have any brush shapes imported yet, so let's head down to the Import button here. And let's navigate to the Brush Shapes. It'll be this... On one summer brush collection sample set.abr file. We'll select this. We'll open it. Then we can choose a category. We'll add a category. And let's just name this summer brush collection sample. I'll choose OK. OK. It's imported all of the sample brushes. And then we can close this. And now we can start adding custom brushes onto our photo. To add a custom brush, I'm going to head over to the Local Adjustment tab here. And in this Local Adjustment tab, I'm just going to rename this Local Adjustment layer Brush Shapes. And in this Local Adjustment layer, I'm going to head down here to this Paint with Color option. I'm going to be painting these in with a specific color. so. This paint with color option needs to be enabled or you're just going to be darkening or modifying the tone of the area that you're brushing. So just make sure you have this paint with color option selected. And to paint in the custom brush shapes, I'm going to use a color and I'm actually going to paint in the bird brush shape, which you can see the custom brushes over here. If you head up to the top modifier bar and you choose the shape option, and if we scroll down here, we have our Summer Brush Collection sample set here, right there. And I'm actually going to use these birds here. So let's just select these birds. And with these birds selected, I'm going to set up my color first. And what I like to do is choose a color from the environment that I'm in. So to do that, I'm going to head to this color rectangle here. And I'm going to select it. Let's just drag this over to the middle of the screen. And I'm going to go into my color dropper tool, and I'm just going to select this incredibly dark area right here, just like that. Now I'm going to head up here to my top tool modifier bar. I'm going to make sure the feathering is at zero and my opacity is at 100. And let's just increase the brush size a little bit with the bracket keys on our keyboard. Right is to increase, left is to decrease and maybe not that big, probably about right there. And let's just paint these in by clicking. Just like that. Now I know they're a bit dark right now and they stand out too much in the frame. That That's not a big deal. We can always modify the blending in a bit. So now that we've painted on those birds to the sky, let's just even out the tone up there using a local adjustment layer with a gradient mask. So let's head over to the local adjustments tab again we're going to add another adjustment and I'm going to rename this adjustment sky tone because we're going to be using it to darken up the sky a little bit and add some detail and also even up the tone so that the birds aren't so prominent within the scene. So with this sky tone local adjustment layer, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to hold down K on my keyboard and that's going to grab me my adjustable gradient tool. With this adjustable gradient tool, we can use this to protect our foreground and strictly modify the sky area. So with my adjustable gradient selected, I'm going to head up to my top tool modifier bar 
and I'm going to go into this preset menu and I'm going to choose linear bottom. Now let's just drop this down on our scene here like that. And I think that looks pretty good as far as positioning it. We can use this big handle to move it around. We can use this smaller handle to rotate it. And then we can feather it with these perforated edges. But I think it looks pretty good just like that. And I think that looks much better as far as the tone of the sky with the birds up there. Let's just go to our bird layer again, the brush shapes layer, and let's modify the opacity just a little bit. Maybe to about 88. That looks pretty good just like that. Perfect. So now let's go into our effects tab. Let's just add a filter to kind of top everything off, give it a bit of a creative look. And from the filters, let's apply this color balance filter, which is actually a tri-tone coloring filter. And it allows us to modify the different colors within certain tonalities of our scene. I'm just going to go into the More menu and choose Vivid Warm. And that's going to add a bit of a warm tint to the shot and really just liven up that summery feel within our environment. So now let's just turn this color balance filter off and on. I just want to make one last small tweak inside of the Develop tab. I'm just going to add in a little bit of that contrast back that was taken away when we use the AI Auto button. And I'm also going to pull back on this mid-tone slider just a hair like that. And then I'm going to pull up on the shadow tone slider a little bit more, just like that. I love how the brush shapes incorporate that little bit of life into the sky and add for just a much more dramatic, lifelike scene. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about On One Photo Raw or other On One editing products, head over to our website at www.onone.com or leave a comment below.